Hello again to all my bats out there. This is a video introducing a series that I'm hoping to start making focused on fairy tales. For the foreseeable future, what I'll specifically be focusing on are the fairy tales that Disney has gotten their dirty little paws on. In this series, I'm going to be focusing on Disney's fairy tales and how they compare to the, in some cases, the original, in other cases, older versions of the tale. I hesitate to use the word original to apply to any story that comes originally from the oral tradition, because of course we don't know what the exact original was. What we have are the earliest written versions, and if you look at various fairy tales across cultures, you can see that there's clearly somewhere along the line been some cultural contamination and or concepts that just exist in the back of the human mind that we end up cross-culturally telling very similar stories and introducing very similar themes. So in the case of those kinds of stories, it's hard to say, this one right here, this is the original. Mm, no, that's just the version that the Grimm's wrote down. And by the way, unless you're reading the new Jack Sipes, new, it's been out for two years, unless you're reading the Jack Sipes translation and you're an English speaker, what you're reading isn't the original Grimm's. It's just not. The original version of the Grimm's fairy tales are very strict, transcriptions of the oral versions that they received. Later editions, which are the editions that have primarily been translated into English, include a lot of edits that the Grimm's made, mostly taking out sex and adding in a bunch of violence. But I do have Jack Sipes copy, so that will be the copy that I'm working from, but I'll also talk about the edits, etc, etc, talk about other versions of the tales through the ages, Basically, this is my chance to be a big giant nerd on the internet about fairy tales. So you may be asking yourself which movies I'm going to include in this series. Because not all Disney films were based on fairy tales. So for that, I have a handy dandy list from IMDb. Um, Snow White and the Seven Dwarfs, the very first full-length animated feature. I will absolutely be doing that. Pinocchio. Pinocchio, Peter Pan, and Alice in Wonderland slash Through the Looking Glass have a lot of things that I would count as fairy tale in terms of their staying power and the power of the imagery and how that you know, clearly connects to people generation after generation after generation. However, as those are all novel length books, or in the case of Alice, two novel length books, I'm going to skip those because there's just no way that I could really dig into them. I'd have to reread the entire novel, first of all. I'd have to, well, maybe not with Alice. I know Alice fairly well. But I'd have to reread these novels. I would have to just do so much more research than I'm prepared to do. And the videos would end up being considerably longer because there's just so much more material to talk about. So I'm going to skip those movies, even though by some qualifications that you could argue that they're fairy tales. Uh, let's see. Fantasia, Dumbo. I'm gonna skip Dumbo? If you have some source that tells you Dumbo's based on a fairy tale, please send it my way because I would love to know that, but I'm pretty sure it's not. Bambi, same thing, not based on a fairy tale. Um, Saludos Amigos. Disney animators tour South America and present four animated shorts inspired by their trip in uh, 1942. Bet that's good and racist. But I'm not gonna do it. Uh, oh, The Three Caballeros. I bet that's also good and racist. Make Mine Music, which is basically Fantasia with what was at the time pop music in 1946. Fun and Fancy Free. If I can get my hands on a copy of that, I will absolutely include that in this series. I'm sure most of you are listening to that title and going, what the fuck is fun and fancy free? And what it is, is Disney's version of Sleepy Hollow and Disney's version of Jack and the Beanstalk. Those are the versions that I grew up watching. Um, that was my first Jack and the Beanstalk. That was my first contact with Sleepy Hollow whatsoever. So if I can get a hold of those to rewatch them, I absolutely will. I do plan on rewatching all of these movies before I talk on them because I want to make sure that I have my memory straight and that I'm not making up things that I don't remember correctly. Oh. Hmm. 
Shit. I'm mistaken. Fun and Fancy Free does include Jack and the Beanstalk. However, it is uh, two movies later, after Melody Time, that The Adventures of Ichabod and Mr. Toad talks about Sleepy Hollow. So again, I will be doing Sleepy Hollow if I can. Uh, Mr. Toad, not so much. Cinderella! Yes, of course I'll be doing that one. Alice in Wonderland, we already spoke about. These are in chronological order of when the movies were released, by the way, in case that was unclear. Uh, Peter Pan, we already talked about. Lady and the Tramp, I will not be doing. Sleeping Beauty, you bet your sweet ass I'm doing Sleeping Beauty. 101 Dalmatians. Oh, I actually really loved this book as a kid. I don't particularly care about the movie one way or the other, but I actually really loved the book as a kid. Um, but it is a book, so I will not be doing it. The Sword and the Stone. No, there's just no way that I'm doing that. Uh, it's based on the Arthurian legends, and there's so much source material that I would drive myself insane trying to compare Disney's version to everything else. Like, there's so much source material, so many adaptations, I just, I can't. I could, like, I could maybe do an entire series just of that, but I'm not including it in my fairy tale series. The Jungle Book. The Jungle Book I will be including, um... The Jungle Book itself, like the actual book, The Jungle Book, most of it is not about Mowgli and Bagheera and all the gang from the Disney movie. Um, but the stories that are, I will go back and reread, and we can talk about Rudyard Kipling and all kinds of racism. All kinds of racism. Just a ton of it. The Aristocats. No. Robin Hood. Again, more of a myth and a legend than it is a fairy tale, and equally so much source material I wouldn't even know where to start. Same thing as Sword in the Stone. The Many Adventures of Winnie the Pooh. No. The Rescuers? No. The Fox and the Hound? No. The Black Cauldron? No? I don't actually know what the source material for the Black Cauldron is. I have very vivid memories of owning a stuffed animal of one of the characters, but zero memories of the movie itself, so I'm gonna look into that and see if that was inspired by any particular fairy tale or if it was based on a YA novel or what the deal with that is. But I'm pretty sure I'm not gonna be doing that one. The Great Mouse Detective? No. Oliver and Company? No. The Little Mermaid? Oh, The Little Mermaid. I'm gonna have such a good time complaining about Hans Christian Andersen when I do The Little Mermaid. The Rescuers Down Under? No. Beauty and the Beast? Yes. Aladdin? Yeah, no, I can't even... Pff, yep, we're gonna do that one. Uh, the Lion King. As much as I would love to spend a video comparing The Lion King to its original source material, Hamlet, I think probably that's a little outside the scope of this series of videos. Pocahontas. The Hunchback of Notre Dame! Again, as much as I would love to complain about all of the ways that Disney massively sanitized this and somehow turned it into a children's story, even though it really, really wasn't outside the scope of this video series. Mulan. I will do Mulan. It is based on an epic poem, so I might have to do a little fudging in terms of my qualifications, but... I mean, it's like the one thing in here that isn't based on a European fairy tale, so I'm, I can't not do it. Tarzan, based on novels. Fantasia 2000. I did not even know that was a thing. Dinosaur. Dinosaur? And I was surprised by Fantasia 2000. Uh, dinosaur. An orphan dinosaur raised by lemurs. What? Uh, raised by lemurs joins an arduous trek to a sanctuary after a meteorite shower destroys his family home. I swear to God, I'm not making this shit up. The Emperor's New Groove! Uh, again, I need to do a little research. I don't think that's based on a fairy tale, but it perfectly well could be, and I'm just not familiar enough with the culture's fairy tales that it's coming from. So I'm gonna look into that, but I don't think it is. Atlantis, The Lost Empire. I would love to include this, if only because it would be an excuse to watch Atlantis, which I have had on my Netflix queue for forever. But again... Not really a fairy tale. Um, I don't know what the source material is specifically other than sort of vague Atlantis myths. 
um, but not really a fairy tale as far as I know. Lilo and Stitch, definitely not a fairy tale, though a very cute movie. Treasure Planet, again, um, inspired by a novel, so we're not touching that one. Brother Bear, pretty sure that one's not fairy tale inspired, but again, I'll, I'll double check these as I go, as I start making the videos to make sure I under make sure I'm not leaving anything out. Home on the Range. Apparently that was a Disney movie. To save their farm, the resident animals go bounty hunting for a notorious outlaw. Whatever, it's not important. I'm not doing that one. Chicken Little. Uh, yeah, I'll do Chicken Little. Sure, why the fuck not? We included it in our fairy tale burlesque show when White Elephant did that, so fuck yeah, Chicken Little. The sky is falling. Meet the Robinsons. I don't even know what that is, I'm not gonna do description. Bolt. The canine star of a fictional sci-fi action show that believes his powers are real embarks on a cross-country trip. When did this sh- 2008? 2008? I mean, I know that, like, the late 90s, early aughts were the golden age of Disney animated films, but what the fuck is this shit? No, we're not doing that. The Princess and the Frog. Oh, fuck yeah, I am tearing that shit apart. Tangled. Bears only a passing resemblance to Rapunzel, but yes, I will do it. Winnie the Pooh again, Wreck-It Ralph, no. Frozen. <sighs> I can't believe I just complained about how little Tangled has to do with Rapunzel. Um, yeah, I'll do Frozen. And the Snow Queen. Fucking, fucking Frozen. It's gonna be a long video. Uh, and Big Hero 6 in 2014. So it's been two years since Disney put out an animated movie? Hmm. I guess it has. So I'll be talking about these fairy tales and about all of the ways that Disney gutted them to sanitize them for children. And the occasional ways in which they really streamlined storytelling and made really bold or interesting or just smart artistic choices that weren't driven strictly by marketing.